Hi, my name is James Tan. I've worked with Unreal Engine 3 for the last 13 years or so. I'm a programmer by nature, but I also know how to use 3ds Max, Adobe Photoshop, and Unreal Editor. I've worked on titles such as The Ball, The Haunted Hell's Reach, Cube, and Epoch. This DVD is the second part in recreating Assault in UDK. In this DVD, I talk about how Team Infos work in UDK, and how I integrated them into Assault. I also demonstrate how to use arch types to store team data such as team color. I then talk about the improvements that were made to the existing weapon system, ensuring that friendly fire is handled, adding a boost effect to the link gun, adding homing rockets to the rocket launcher, adding a charged shock ball to the shock rifle, and lastly how to implement regenerating ammo for the weapons. Moving on, I discuss the expansions made to the pawns. Assault now has two pawn types, a cyborg and a human. Cyborgs have shields that regenerate, and both of them have post-processing effects applied to them when they get hit. We then tackle the job of creating the task system using both Unreal Script and Kismet. I demonstrate how to create a flexible set of Kismet nodes, which level designers can then use to create all kinds of tasks that players have to do during the game. I also updated the HUD, adding stats such as health and ammo, but also creating a mini-map and the task list, so that players know what to do next. I also demonstrate how to use the task Kismet nodes to create two types of tasks. A task where players must reach a point in the map, and a task where players must destroy a target. And how to create the data needed by the minimap. And finally, I demonstrate how to set up Unreal Swarm on your local network, so that you can light mass your levels faster. <laughs>